wondering um, if I'm dead or not, I'm, I'm still alive, as you can see. Uh, not too healthy though, it was mainly because I, I got sick, and you know, even, even right now my voice still kind of sounds like a frog. Uh, got a really sore throat, my <laughs> nose keeps getting clogged up, so I'm, I'm not going to make this video too long, but uh, we actually got some news, some new Astromon, so I wanted to um, talk about them. Now this is on Smith Jez's blog, if you guys don't know him, he's basically known as the guy that data mines everything for the MSL community. Um, he actually went into the game and, you know, got, got took, like, went into the files and actually uh, was able to extract all this information from within the game. So that's actually really, really cool. Uh, which means we'll get, be able to get a sneak peek of the new monsters, as well as um, the next, next month's Astromon of the Month. Uh, monsters. Man, I can barely talk. I sound like, I, I still sound like a frog. Uh, but anyways, this is the, this is the Mowgli. I think he's Mowgli from Jungle Book, right? Mowgli. Yes, Mowgli. Um, and he's basically, I think mostly for Titans, uh, every single one of the Mowgli's have the same skill, but they have it for a different element. So the, the fire one is a wood hunter plus wood predator. So, you know, fire already has elemental advantage against wood. Um, but with wood hunter, you know, you actually, it can get 50% more crit damage um, against wood. And then for wood predator, you get 40% more um, just attack power against, against wood monsters. Um, I think these monsters can pretty much all be used for, for fillers. For, um, for titans, like say for example you're missing some uh, fire attackers for certain teams, like for one, one, and two, like one or two of your slots, you can actually put this monster in and actually use it. Um, if it's an event monster, it means we might be able to get them a little bit more easily. I think it might be the rebirth monster for next month. It's very likely because there's three star and four star versions, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to be the rebirth monster. Um, wait, did they gender Ben Mowgli? Because this is gender female here. Alright, they, they gender Ben Mowgli, which, uh, that, I, I'm down, I'm down. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, let me, let, me, let me look at the stats. 2, 2,700, um, low recovery, defense is kind of low, HP is, is decent. I think they're usable. They they have a, all all of them have around the same stats. Like the water one's slightly tankier, um, but they're they're mostly all attacker types. So the wood one actually has the best stats, two thousand eight hundred for a three star. It's actually quite high. This is really high for for a three star. Most three stars don't have attacks this high. I think the highest is like water shelly with like two point nine. So this is actually quite high for like a uh, a three star attacker. They also have the Fighting Spirit skill for um, for the same element, or for, yeah, for the same element monsters. So you go with like a full fire team. Um, you can actually use this as the leader skill if you don't have a better one. You can actually put it in. And because, say for example, you're fighting against like Wood Titan or something like that, then uh, most of your monsters are going to be fire, so they'll be able to benefit from the leader skill. I mean, it's better than nothing, so it's it's pretty good. Um, they pretty much have all the same skills. Now the really interesting thing, I think, is the light and dark ones. I don't think they've actually done this for light and dark monsters. You know, a lot of us have been waiting and hoping that they would make like a light and dark death. Um, I think this is probably like the closest thing. Now, um, I think the the light one is alright because there's there's already a lot of really strong light attackers. Obviously if you guys miss some events, you, you won't have access to them like light Sarah, um, like Light Birdie from before was pretty strong. Um, light, Light, uh, Light Jack from previous events. The Light Jack was like, was like two event monsters. Uh, they all have like higher attack than than this guy, and they have more all boost, which kind of makes them like a little bit better for like golems and stuff. But I guess if you really need like a, if you want to go for like a full light team for golems, you might be able to use Mo Light Mowgli. Um, but I, I think the dark one is actually the most interesting because I was thinking of using because a lot of people don't have like a Tito and stuff and I think the 
the dark Mowgli can actually be pretty strong against um, against dragons. Um, because like on first turn, you can actually maybe if you you're able to get multiple of these, like two of them, and uh, like armor break, light purse, you might be able to kill her in one turn. If you can kill the light purse in one turn, and then you know. Uh, on dragon, well actually no, might ha not have enough damage. If you can land the armor break on the dragon, have two of these attack the dragon with their first skill, and then um, another dark monster like Dark Vic or something attacks. Actually wait, you don't even need Dark Vic, you can, you can use another attack monster because you can just use the fighting spirit to make your, uh, for leader skill. But there's no other 100% CC monster in there that's dark. There's only like Dark Valk. I don't think a lot of people have those. Um, you might be able to put in another like Light Attacker, like Light Tiger, or something like that. And then do. Um, and then just like basically, if you can armor break the dragon on, on first turn, you can put some damage on him. And then the dragon might kill one of your guys. But the other three should be able to kill the dragon on second turn, so it could make a pretty stable dragon's team. I definitely do want to try it out. If, if this is the rebirth monster and we can get multiple of them, I think it has some potential. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the Mowgli. Uh, yeah, my voice is sounding more and more like a frog the more I talk. <laughs> the, the other really interesting thing that um, was was actually brought to brought to our attention is because he data mined the um, he data mined the monsters for the Astro Mon of the month of next month. Uh, you can see all these monsters, but there's actually a really interesting thing because it says over here if you evolve a Venus to Evil Two, you'll it's it'll complete the quest, which means that we'll be able to get the the Venus next month, and there's going to be like bonds and stuff as well. Which was um, used before in the Venus, the bonds and the truffles uh, was used before in the Venus event, so it's it's highly highly likely that um, the Venus will be back for for next uh, next month's event, which could be really really cool because I, I still I still really want a dark Venus. I think I think dark Venus. I don't know if they're gonna bring back light Venus. They they probably will bring back light Venus, but I'm not sure if they're gonna bring back dark Venus. If they do, then That'll be really, really cool. Cause I, Dark Venus is actually the monster I really, really need on my like Dark Indra team to make him like super strong. I'm really sad that I skipped it, skipped him or skipped her. She's like the, the the thing I need to like really progress in Titans. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make the video too long, cause my my voice is still kind of messed up. Um, but just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, cause I haven't done so in in a in a few days and. You know, hopefully I'll get better soon and my voice can, I can be back in a uh, talking condition. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it was really short, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.